Hey guys, it's Chris. I'm back. Same outfit, everything. Same filming day. Um, yeah, so I got a little haul from um, Makeup Gal Sales, Makeup Gal Girl or whatever. Um, I'm friends with her on Facebook. She has a um, group where she does these sales every Tuesday now every Tuesday and you can get stuff 50% or less off of the retail price. A lot of this stuff has either been swatched or is a tester. I have no issues with that because I sanitize everything anyway. But some of this stuff's brand new. Let's start with brushes because you guys know I can never get enough brushes. Okay so I got this flat eyeshadow brush basically just for packing on shadow. This is my Japanesque I love this brand and these brushes are not cheap let me tell you they are amazing I would collect them all if I could um, but they're really really expensive and in Ulta where you can find them in Ulta I believe they're even maybe more expensive than some of the it brushes so and you guys know those are my favorite so it, they're really pretty crazy but they're they're great okay so speaking of it brushes I got the it for Ulta these are sold at Ulta I got the uh, number 122 angled liner brush so this is just an angled liner brush it's very soft I don't know how well I'll have to test it out but I will post her link below to her site should you guys want to get in on some of this stuff like I said I mean you know if you're really skeezy about certain things or whatever you know then it's probably not the group for you although you do sometimes find brand new stuff so you know um but you got to be quick on the draw it's like a she just posts 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 and that kind of thing whatever um you'll get the gist of the group when you go into it but I got the precision shadow brush from it cosmetics so just a nice fluffy shadow brush which I don't have that one yet. And then I got one other one of my handy dandy favorites. Looks like I'm gonna have to wash this one because I don't know, it looks like something, I don't know. I, I wash all the brushes anyway once I get them. Um, I, Even when they're new, I wash them just because, I don't know, I just do. This is my blending crease brush, my 105. Um, if you guys saw my all IT Cosmetics tutorial, this is, I have three of these. Now I have four of these because they're just amazing love it i got from urban decay the heavy metal glitter eyeliner in spandex which that's just a really funny if it's blue look at we're having a blue theme today i've always wanted to try these some people are like yeah they're okay they're not okay i see what they're saying yeah so i don't love them but what i paid for this it's certainly not they're very i love the nyx much better I'm building this up let me do one swatch here so you can see what I'm talking about there's a lot of transparency in them and not a whole okay so this is it built up okay and this is it with just like one swipe because so you see all the transparency whereas the NYX glitters it's like all glitter like you just go and it's just all glitter these you kind of have to work with obviously but I think it would be really nice over a dramatic cat wing so you're not completely covering your cat wing you're just giving it some glitter I think that would be great but look at the glitter on that really really nice I had heard that about these and I believe I had swatched them in Ulta and wasn't impressed but the like I said the price was just too amazing so um, I also got this NYX eyeshadow base right here oh okay this is different than I thought it was gonna be Okay, so it is skin toned, but it's not as, you see that right there? It's not as opaque as I normally like it, but it's the HD and it feels a little greasy. I don't know, but I really wanted to try it because I'm, uh, you know, eye bases too, I'm sort of obsessed with. But it seems like it just blends out and it just, it does feel kind of greasy. So I don't know if I'm going to love that at all. This is the NYX Tame and Frame Pomade. Um, this is in Chocolat. Chocolat. And it's a tinted brow pomade. I, I want to compare it to the Anastasia, honestly. And this is what it looks like. It looks like it's just been swatched, but of course I will disinfect that. Can I even get a finger in here? Because my fingernails are so long. This is what it looks like. So it looks a lot darker than it does in the pan. I like this. This is like more of a cool tone brown than a warm brown. There you go. There's a swatch. So it's a, it's a cool tone brown as opposed to a warm brown. I know it looks like a little warm on this side, but it's definitely... I like it so I think this will work well 
for me. Um, if not, it will work well with clients for sure. And then I have so many of these. Not these, not this specifically, but the Dip Brow is so expensive. So I have this in, this is the It Cosmetics Brow Stain. Build a Brow, waterproof 5-in-1 microfiber cream gel stain. It has brow enhancing biotin, um, anti-aging, uh, lechitin, lechitin, saw, palmetto, and anti-aging. But it's got, supposed to have like microfibers in it, and I have the special brush... I don't know where it is right now where I would show you. It looks like a picket fence. It's really cool. It comes with it. Um, they didn't have this color when I went when I bought it on QVC, but because I wanted the brush with it too, because the brush is just so super cool. Um, but so they had taupe, but taupe is a little um, they didn't have the dark brown. They were all sold out. And so I was so happy to see this. Um, so I got this, and this has been swatched also, but let's swatch that next to the next one and see. This looks a lot darker, but this is the dark brown, where the other one is, what's it called? Chocolate. You know what? This one is much darker, um, but I think these two together are going to be amazing because this one would be great for outlining my brows, and this one would be great for filling in, or this one at the, you know, at the beginning, and this one at the tail. So super cool if you can see the difference on camera. I'm excited. So that's super cool. Um, and these things are so expensive. I forget how much this goes for regularly, but like I said, you get amazing deals. So if you guys don't mind sanitizing your stuff, then go for it. Honestly, like, hold on, I need to get a tissue. The deals are, the deals are amazing. Sorry, I just like, sh huge, wow, this is not moving. The next one is coming off. This one by it is not coming off. I'm trying to tissue it off and it's not coming, holy crap, it's not coming off. The one by NYX is coming off. So I don't know, because I have their NYX's, um, the one that comes in the tube. I love it, and it's totally waterproof. This is not, so I don't know how much use I'll get out of that. In the winter, I'm sure I will, uh, but in the summer. But this, it, is not coming off at all. Um, okay, so it's just going to stay there. Last thing I got was from It Cosmetics, and I have been wanting these forever. I thought she had another color. I thought she was going to send me two Oh, no, I know what it was. She sent me this one. Next one, I'm getting two more colors, I believe. But this is the Vit Vitality Cheek Flush. Oh, my God. I want to say these things run for, like, 20 bucks, if not more. This has not been touched. Look at how gorgeous that is. This is in Magical and Mauve. And I love mauves because I really feel they can go with any skin color. And this is gorgeous. It does have some shimmer to it. So if you're not a shimmer blush person, then you may not like it. I don't know if you can catch the shimmer. There you go. But I love it. I love this color. So I'm so excited to get this. And um, next sale, I think she said she had two more colors she's going to throw in um for me to buy um and they, they're really long lasting they remind me of the tart that i said i just like wiped it away and look at it, it's still there so it's a blush stain but in a powder form it cosmetics you guys is like my all-time favorite so if you guys ever want to buy me anything buy me something from it <laughs> i i wouldn't be um or a gift card to ulta like i wouldn't be upset if you did I'm just kidding. I would never, like, ask you guys to buy me anything. But, um, so, the, another thing I got is from Mario Badescu. I have been using his skincare line for a little bit now. I got some samples, and I'm absolutely loving them. This is for all skin types. This is the Glycolic Foaming Cleanser, and I did get a, um, sample of this. And this is, it says, exfoliate dead skin cell buildup up to three times a week with this glycolic acid-based cleanser, extracts of chamomile, yarrow, sage, and St. John's wort, um, soothe freshly exfoliated skin and provide antioxidant pr protection by neutralizing free radicals that can cause damage to the skin. I love this. Love it, love it, love it. And the last thing I got was by Becca. It's the Shimmering Skin Perfector Spotlight. It's the liquid one, and it's in opal. Ah, I got a little sample, I think from Sephora. 
it just one of those foil packets um oh my god you guys know me and my highlighters i thought i had purchased from her the mary luminizer so i'm gonna have to double check with her on that but look at that oh <gasps> look at that glow oh my god so gorgeous like i just i'm in love i'm in love <laughs> that's my little mini makeup haul guys um again i will post her group down below should you guys decide to use it um again i'm, I'm going to tell you a lot of this stuff is tester stuff um or has been swatched but like i said i sanitize everything so it doesn't really matter i don't really mind so i mean like, i wouldn't buy a mascara but anything else like i don't even think she sells the mascaras to be honest with you but like everything is like i said 50 percent or more off and then if stuff doesn't get bought she will even knock the price down more at the end of it's sort of auction like and at the end of the bidding up until I think midnight you can you can try and outbid somebody you know by like a buck or whatever and then the stuff that doesn't sell a lot of times she'll reduce the price so anyway it's I don't always get in on it in time but so then I kind of just look at the stuff that doesn't sell but anyway I'll post her link below so I will talk to you guys later post down below guys what is your favorite highlighter so I will talk to you guys later Love you. Oh, post down below. What's your favorite highlighter? Want to know. Talk to you later, guys.